God entered into my body like a body my same size, like me floating into you or you floating into me. I am an extreme dancer. I see non-stop visions from God. Anyway, I'm making this video to show you what an employer, former, did to me. You won't believe it, but you can make copies of the video. Please share it. This has got to be wronging as high as you can do in America. I'm a truck driver, and I was driving for Cordell Transportation Company, and on my very last day there, which was 10-13-2020, about a, I stopped by the office to do them a favor, to go out on a run, because a, a guy took a trailer to the wrong place and left it. So they wanted me to retrieve it, and I did. Now, an hour and a half into the shift, I received a text message. I couldn't look at the text message for a little while, but finally I opened it. And it said, seven random drug screens were issued. I don't know if it said that one was issued to me or not. I wasn't given an authorization form. I wasn't given an appointment. I wasn't given anything. Anyway, um, I told them when I get back, I resign. But <clears throat> I offered on the way back to stop anywhere they chose and take a drug screen. I offered on the way there and on the way back. Uh, my boss called me nonstop, sent me text messages. You're not supposed to be doing that while you're driving. You're not supposed to answer the phone or send a text. My dispatcher did the same. They both ran my phone battery down, they called so much. Anyway, they reported me to the FMSCA drug clearing house. And now I'm allowed to drive, my license aren't suspended. But I am prohibited to, be a, to drive a semi-truck. Now I want to show you what they did. They brought me into the office, asked me to do the favor, then sent me out. And about 80 miles into the run, they claimed they issued a drug screen for me. And here's the catcher. I had nine minutes to get back to Plainfield, Indiana to take the drug screen. If I wasn't there in nine minutes, then that means I'm in violation. That means I refused my drug screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the FMSCA website and I'm going to show you what is on there. And you will see that I had nine minutes, nine or ten minutes, to take my drug screen or I'm in violation. That is criminal. It takes more than nine minutes to turn a semi around. But let's walk over to the phone. I've got my passwords punched into it already. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. That's the FMSCA. Now I'm logging in. I'm in. See that? It says you are prohibited from operating a commercial commercial vehicle. Now let's go down here a little bit. Now that means I gotta go through a drug class. Now I took a drug screen on ten fourteen for another company. So I wasn't on any drugs. Now look at these violations. Look at this. Reported on eleven seventeen. Now what the and there's another one. Reported on eleven thirteen. Now it's the same violation reported twice. But here, I'm gonna show you. It says view violation details. Let's click on that. Now there it's opened up. Cordell is the one that issued the violation. You see that? It says right there, Bob Hickman, driver, that's me. Now let's go down. Violation information. See that? Drug test refusal. It says reason for test random. It says failed to appear for any test. Results entered by Cordell Transportation. Now let's go down a little lower. Notice to appear. It says driver notified. 10-13-2020 at 3.52 p.m. 
date and time to appear 10 13 2020 402 p.m. That means I had That means I had about Um That means I had about 5 or 6 minutes to appear and I was in my semi now it's going down. See that? Heck, that's probably a new one. It's probably another one. Only well, it's the same one over and over again. Now, I showed you that. <laughs>